Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hmm. Oh. Oh, hey, Thanos is back. Yes, sir, but he got the big bomb bad dumb grin and no articulations. And Hims didn't even have that infinity glove in Endgame. No, sir, no. You, sir, suck. <laughs> Dude, that glove totally saved your ass. Yeah, it's pretty handy. I so gotta get one of those. Hello YouTube, Ultramaximus back with another toy review, and today we're gonna take a look at another Avengers Endgame figure. It's Thanos. And I found this figure at a local Meyer on the south side of Indianapolis over in Southport. And um, to be honest, the only reason I even got it is because this is the only Thanos figure really that I was interested in because it was cheap and it was a uh, one figure buy. <laughs> um, this actually to me looks like it should be a Thanos that we got in Infinity War because Spoiler alert, he doesn't have this gauntlet in the movie, uh, which is really weird that we get him this time around. It's like they forgot him in the last line, but eh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the movie deluxe Thanos in the packaging, and he looks like he's about the same size as Hulk. Uh, he comes with his double-edged sword that kind of looks like solar panels to me. Um, he's got an Infinity Gauntlet. He's got his full armor on, which I do like because the Infinity War Build-A-Figure didn't have that. And I, ugh, I just didn't like his look in Infinity War. He looked a little bit better this time around in Endgame, but eh, I prefer the comic look personally. So anyway, we get the artwork of Thanos up here. It says Avengers with no in-game logo on it. It says Thanos up there. Uh, there he is. There's his weapon, and that's really about it for the front of the box. Pretty simplistic, like all the other movie figures that we've gotten. Uh, so yeah, there he is. And that's pretty much the front of the box. Back of the package has a very tiny write-up. It says the evil Thanos wields the power of the Infinity Stones to bend the universe to his will. Yeah, not so much in this movie, really, um, but we've got uh, some decent-looking artwork up there. Uh, there's no way that this figure can get into that pose. And then some of the other figures in this line, we've got Iron Man, uh, Captain Marvel, and uh, the Hulk in the Avengers costume. So just kind of look at the back. There it is. There's the tiny write-up. There's the artwork. Um, and then here are the other figures in this particular wave. And uh, I think the only one in that uh, wave that are reviewed on the back is Iron Man, which is not a bad figure. Go check it out back in my uh, video list right there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Thanos out of box and see what we think. So here we have Thanos out of the packaging and this is a goofy figure. For the most part, it's not bad for a movie line deluxe figure. As I've said many, many times before, I think Mattel does a better job than Hasbro on uh, these movie line figures because, well, uh, Mattel puts like, you know, joints in the knees, twists at the waist, uh, just a bit more articulation in these figures than what we get out of Hasbro. I will say it is very well detailed and the paint apps and color scheme on this are pretty decent. The one thing that ruins it for me on this figure, though, is the head sculpt. I mean, this is atrocious. He's just like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, guys? It's just, I don't know, really, really goofy looking. And it just doesn't say evil overlord to me at all. So, with all the complaints out of the way, uh, let's take a look at the figure itself. He does come with his uh, dual-bladed axe sword weapon thing uh, that we see in the movie. And this is actually done really, really well. Um, I love the detail on it. I like that silver metalish paint. Uh, I like how the blade itself is a little bit jagged on both ends, so it's kind of chipped like it's seen battle. Uh, so that is very, very cool. I think a little black wash on this will make this look even better. Um, the biggest gripe I've got with this is the hand doesn't hold it very tightly because, well, uh, everything on this figure is kind of rubbery, 
which is weird. Um, like the armor pieces here are rubbery. His hands are a little bit rubbery. Uh, even the gauntlet's a bit rubbery. Uh, these pieces are rubbery as well. Um, the legs are pretty solid. The body is a solid plastic, so are the arms and the head itself. So it's just, I don't know, it's a, a weird, goofy figure. Now, as far as articulation goes on the figure, uh, the head itself looks down about that far. It looks up pretty decently, which is makes him look even goofier. Uh, the head does spin all the way around. You can get some interesting poses with the head, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, the arms do splay up that far. Uh, they twist all the way around. He's got a very very large uh, hinge joint on the elbow and then that twists all the way around as well on both arms uh, so the upper body uh, relatively uh, poseable there is no uh, twist at the waist no ab crunch or anything which is just annoying uh, his legs kick up about that far they kick back pretty far which is interesting and uh, there's nothing else in the legs no knees no hips um, no uh, feet at all, which is very, very disappointing. But unfortunately, that's just something I've come to expect from Hasbro Movie Line Deluxe figures. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, uh, the sculpt on this head is terrible. I just do not like it at all. The helmet looks okay. I like the dull kind of gold look they got going on, but the eyes and the weird little smile that's on the face just totally ruins the look for me. Um, they should have just given him a little scowl and I, ugh, I don't know, just bad. Now, the upper shoulders are uh, pretty decent. I like all the detail on the armor. Uh, again, I like that flat kind of gold look, uh, pretty cool. This could probably use a good black wash to pull out all the little details. The fact that the armor is a rubber is kind of weird, uh, but I guess it helps with the posability. It's just, ugh, the face is such a disappointment on this figure and just really puts it at the bottom of my list. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, this is definitely a lot better than the head sculpt. I like the gauntlet on this figure and all the stones, how they're all painted. Unfortunately, this figure shouldn't even have this because he didn't have it in the movie. Um, you know, go watch the film if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, the blade axe thing is definitely very cool. Love the paint, love the chips on the blade itself. Um, it's just, I wish he held it better. Uh, the purple tone of his skin works. Uh, so that's kind of nice. I love, again, all the detail on the body and the armor and the suit and all the drapings that hang down around his waist. That all looks really good. And the fact that it's got the rubber bits uh, help with moving the legs back and forth. I just wish we had a waist uh, swivel at least and, uh, you know, some other articulation in the figure. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, um, he stands pretty well. Again, there's just no articulation in the knees, which is ridiculous. Uh, this figure needs that, I think. Um, the plastic on the legs are a little bit shinier than the rest of the body because it uses a lot of rubber armor pieces. Uh, so this could be used to tone down a little bit. Uh, again, I think some black wash would help to pull some of the details out of the figure. Uh, overall, the sculpt is good. Um, the, the stance on the figure is good. It just needs more articulation and a little bit of paint touch up. For comparison, here we have Thanos next to all of my other Movie Line Deluxe figures from Endgame. And, I mean, he stacks up pretty decent, I suppose. He's about the same size as the Hulk, but he's not quite as bulky. Uh, to be honest, I think these two figures should be a little bit taller um, compared to the others. But it's not too terribly bad, and it's kind of cool to have the main bad guy with all the other heroes. So is the Thanos Movie Line Deluxe figure from Avengers Endgame something that you want in your Marvel collection? Well, uh, to be honest, this could be an easy pass. Uh, I only got this because they didn't do one of these Movie Line figures for Infinity War, and it looked interesting. I like the blade on it. Um, there are some real big goofs on this figure. The head sculpt is just atrocious. Uh, absolutely is. He needs a, a scowl or something instead of that dumb grin. And his eyes are just a little too bright for me. Um, he shouldn't have the Infinity Gauntlet at all. Uh, this should have been a figure from Infinity War, not uh, Endgame. 
which is a, a bit weird. Um, I think the jewels, I like the paint on them, but they could have been brighter. I could touch that up with some metallic paints, and I might do that. I don't know. This might be a figure I add a little paint wash and uh, some brushing uh, to, to try to salvage it, because it's just a meh type of figure the way it is. Uh, I think with a little paint, it, it could be a lot better. Love the weapon piece on it. Um, that is very, very cool and it suffers from Hasbro not putting articulation in the movie line figures. Um, you know, I think kids are going to be okay with it. It's a pretty tough and durable figure, but as far as a collector goes, uh, go get the bath, I guess. So, yeah, there he is, Thanos from Avengers Endgame. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.